Well, well, well. Today just got better. Let's take a look. around. I was worried because it all came in a bubble mailer, but they did seem to double package it. Let's take a look. Black tape on a black box. I like that. Good touch. <sighs> oh, it's beautiful. Let's get ourselves a little card here. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you as well. Roll them in a padded tray. Slide them away from sunlight. Okay. All right. I'm assuming the sunlight thing is because there might be some kind of natural ingredients in some of them that might fade if they're left in the sun, but uh, I don't think most people play D20 dice games in the sun. You know, to each their own. Let's start taking a look. All right. So this is our, I think it's called the Merlot D20. Beautiful. Sharp corner. Oh, let me get it closer to the camera. Sharp corners. Looks crunchy inside, doesn't it? That is beautiful. All right. That one back in this little baggy. In this little bag. Okay, hold on. Even the bag for the, the bonus die is embossed. Nice touch. All right, I'm going to assume this is the pin. Suck it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a really nice pen. Single post, so um, could be better in that regard. Doesn't seem to be any kind of stamp on the back indicating uh, much of anything. So you just have to assume it's an official pin. Um, but I mean. Single release pin, not a big deal. Bon appetit. Wait a minute, I'm getting mis mixed messaging. <clears throat> For the coloring, it's a very, very cool color. And then <clears throat> it looks like it's showing up well on the camera. You can see lines behind the front indicating where the back of the die would be if this was a real die instead of just a flat pin. That is really well designed. That is gorgeous. And then the, uh, the lollipop stick going into the die a little bit. I just thought this entire thing through. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <clears throat> focus on here uh okay yeah don't uh don't eat the pin it might give you cancer if you live in california i guess not a toy inedible choking hazard intended for adult collector yes now the feast why we're all here i just open these 
set that aside. Oh, wait a minute. I already pulled it out of something. How do I pull? Okay, a little magnetic closure. We've got Prologue Edition. I uh, don't know what that means. Certificate of Authenticity. That's cool. I don't think I've seen any dice that come with those before, but I have never spent this much on dice. So maybe that's a thing. Holy crap, look at those colors. Let me zoom in here. Oh, crap. Oh. Wow. That giant piece of foil and the number, the D6. This one up in the top corner here. That's amazing. Whoa, whoa. Well, they are sharp, but not so sharp that I'd be worried about it. And then it looks like our D4 is buried underneath the foam padding. Uh, I'm not going to pull all that out. Where would I put this back? And let's take a look at our next one. Oh, 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 oh. I see. <clears throat> it has the name on the front. So this first box is... Back in, yeah. <clears throat> Lilac Song Inked. Beautiful. I believe this is one of the ones that is for my wife. Mariana Trench uh, is one of the ones that is for me. Let's take a look. Open. are a little bit darker on the camera, but I think it's because they're sitting on a black piece of felt. Um, much brighter. Oh wow, look at all the little... The inclusions seem to be a bit smaller in this one. Oh, wait. Until we flip it over. It looks like there's some settling or something, but it still looks amazing. None of that came out to the edge. Definitely. Looks like some crinkled up foil or something floating around in there, but it's amazing. Ooh. <clears throat> Where is... Hello, sir. Yay, beautiful. All right. Let's see whom we have next. Get back in ya. Okay. Sapphire Knight. I think this is another one for that. Oh, oh all right. Another one that my wife wanted. I think this is going to be more of like a purpley. Oh, nope, nope. No, not quite. Oh, there's a little bit of purple in there. Wow. I like that five. The D6. That is a cool... Ooh. I don't know why these D20s are sitting with the one up. I don't know about that, you guys. 
Bad juju right out of the box. Wow. Okay, those are so cool. So, I mean, the inclusions in them don't look overly complicated. They look like a little bit of prismatic foil paper or something. I don't know, but... The way that they also catch the light and the edges of the die catch the light just adds so much structure to what is already a very solid piece of uh, something to hold in your hand there, right? Because you've got a nice solid die. And you can see here light catching where the six is. And then inside, as you roll it around, you just see the light catch various pieces of inclusion and just light those up as well. So, really well done. Very beautiful. Ooh, bouncer. Ooh, missed something. <clears throat> Again, that was Sapphire Knight. Finally, we have Dragonheart. Let's see if this one does the same thing on the pull string. Oh, oh it held. Okay. Hard to catch this on the camera. I'm sorry, I'm tapping on the, the front trying to get it to focus on them. Um, it's, it's amazing how they look very dark again because of the black felt, but you can just see them lighting up on the inside as light catches them. It gives them, you know, they feel more I don't know, alive. It feels like there's a fire in there because of the way that it's sort of black with the light feeling like it's coming from the interior rather than the exterior. It's just amazing. Beautiful. Paint is a little bit thin on this one. That's not a big deal. Dark spot there. Just adds to the character of the die, right? You've got so much bright orange popping up as it catches light over here. And then over here, that's the, the, the darkness catching back up with you. Just amazing. I have this whole the paint on this just doesn't look quite as bright as the other ones. I don't know if that is the paint job or if that is the color of the dye. It's just not popping as much. Um, but it's totally fixable. And I just... So, watching all of the little inclusions light up as you spin it, and then as an edge catches the sunlight, boop, you can see over here on the, the 6 or the 9, that, oh, there it goes, 6. You've got the exterior structure, and then it just feels like there's so much interior structure because of everything inside lighting up. It's just, just beautiful. Um, so, these are all, the paint looks a little bit better on some of these other dice. It's just because it is a thicker number. Um, yeah, all of these look solid. The numbers on the D20 are just a bit smaller and they don't, they don't translate as well from a distance hard to read down here. I can read the, the 8 on the D12, the 10 on the D20. A little bit harder to read from a little bit of a distance. So, um, not a big deal. I think it's fixable. 
but uh, otherwise, you know, I'm just just amazed at all of these. Um, I went a little bit overboard, I think, on this Kickstarter, and it took a little bit longer to deliver, uh, which is understandable. You know, 2020 happened. Um, each of these dice here, let me. Each of these sets would have taken a slightly different process, and um, uh, the spell has been putting out really good updates. So, uh, as somebody who works in shipping, I totally understood the delay, and uh, I'm so happy to get these. I happen to be sitting on a backer kit email for the, the next Dispel Die uh, Kickstarter that they did with Wormwood. So um, after seeing these, I'm going to go fill out that backer kit and probably spend a little bit too much money again. Overall, I'd say they delivered an amazing product. I'm very happy with it. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.